I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin and Don Hall with the I S U P K. I'm the commander of Junior Island, California, man. To so all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The scissors that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The scissors that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Prayed to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was Shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top though. Funny how we see vanity, not the lives lost. Can't be focused on the life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had no life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. Go ahead. Alright, so, uh, my What's your name? I'm uh, Austin Duper. Yeah. Austin Duper. Uh, nice teach, to meet you, Austin. Thank you. Yeah, I teach at Cornerstone Christian School, right across, uh, kind of in the area. Mm -hmm. Um, we got. What's your name of school? Cornerstone Christian School. Cornerstone Christian School. Oh, so Cornerstone we, Christian we, school. We, we teach a lot of, uh, it's. Predominantly, a, lot, a lot of black people. A you can, you can speak freely right, in right. this in this forum. A lot of black you try to be politically correct. I know you're in DC. We teach a lot of. You never know these days. Yeah, you never know. You never know. So we teach a lot of niggas. <laughs> Go ahead. My question for you guys is. Based on your teachings, how do you? How would you get to heaven? Based on if you were to stand before God and He says, "Why should I let you in?" What would you say to Him? Okay, I understand. Hey, I'm gonna repeat this question. Based on this teaching. How do you get to heaven? If we were to stand before God and he would say what? He says, why should I let you in? What would you say? Okay, now let me ask you this, just to get clarity. Okay. Why would God say to me, why should I let you in? <laughs> oh, say an angel. Say, 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 say an it angel. was you. Say it was me. Say it was you. Okay. Say you went to the pearly gates. Okay. And Peter is like, sir, God won. <laughs> and God said, Austin what? Uh, Austin Duper. Austin Duper, Mr. Yeah. Duper. And God says, Mr. Duper, why should I let you behind these gates? Yes. What would you say? Okay, I would say, I would say, I don't deserve to be let in. I am a sinner. Give him a hand. I would say, I <laughs> say I'm, a, I'm a sinner, only saved by Jesus Christ and what he did for me on the cross. And it's only by his blood that I even have a shot. And based on my belief in him, that's the reason why I should be getting in heaven. Not, nothing I've done, though. Nothing I've done. Only you one, should only be one. in politics. You shouldn't be a teacher. <laughs> uh, that was a great speech. <laughs> yeah, now, what if God says, Mr. Duper, yeah. round about 1600, people who look just like you yes. were let into the gates of America okay. by the Native Indians. Yes. And 400 years later, yes. America is the most racist, murderous, drug infested. Yep. See those colors over there? Yeah. Sexually deviant yeah. place on the planet. Yeah. But it would not have been that way if Red Cloud asked you for your immigration papers. Right. Well, I ain't finished. Yeah. So now, why should I let you in? If a handful of your people did that to America, right. what should you do to heaven? Right. 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 That was right. Did I do that now? No, you didn't. I had nothing to do with it. You didn't have anything to do with it. But you do you do fit the profile. You do fit the profile. Okay, but do I have anything to do with it? No, but you don't. That's why I'm asking you. Because if you did have something to do with it, you would be punished, right or wrong. If you had something to do with a crime, wouldn't you be punished? If you commit a crime, even if you admit you got to serve time, the Central Park Five right, right. Yeah, yeah. forced into admission and they went yeah, to jail. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah, tell yeah. me nothing about if I if I repent. No, 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 no governments. I'm talking about Jesus. I'm talking no. about governments too. Yeah, yeah. What do you think heaven government. is? You think heaven is Disneyland? Heaven is a government. Right. It's a government ruled by a black god with so, a black Christ, so a I, black king. Do you think I would be able to get to heaven or no? Based on your, based on your beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> I just ask. I don't know. I mean, I'm not God. Right, right, right. None of us are. 
But I do got God's words. Yes, yes. That's the book right there. That's the truth. So, let's see what God said. Okay. All right, I got a verse for you. Acts 2.21. Acts 2.21. Acts 2.21. What? Can we read that one? You're trying to commit suicide, man. You're trying to commit suicide, man. Okay, Acts 2.21. 2.21, then y'all got y'all. We got to get off the board. This is good. We like this. Thank you, God. Thank you. Give me Acts 2.21. Sure, sure. He's trying to get it. He's trying to get it out. Listen, Austin, I don't think you want this verse. You sure you want this verse? You like this verse. You like the whole Bible. You like the whole Bible. No mistakes. No mistakes. Not after today, you won't. <laughs> Acts chapter 2, verse 21. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord uh -huh. shall be saved. Uh-huh. What's up? Whosoever. Uh-huh. Who's that apply to? <laughs> Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. Who does it apply to? Ye men of Israel. Who does it apply to? Ye men of Israel. Who does it apply to? Ye men of Israel. Now, Austin. Oh, yeah, you tell the next thing. He's like, I'm going to ask no more questions. I'm joking. Keep going. Keep going. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. I was. I was. I'm, I'm, that's it. Ye men. Okay, go ahead. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words! You're you checking it out now. <laughs> but they didn't teach you the next verse in Catholic school. Keep going. Go ahead. Jesus of, of Nazareth, a man approved of God uh -huh. among you. Among who? Among you. Among who? Among you. Among you. Among who is the you? The men of Israel. That's right. The whosoever. Also to the Greek. The, well, we could get to that. And give me the Bible dictionary. Give me um Hellenist. We could get to that. But the who, the who is talking about the man of Israel. First to the Jew. Are you a man of Israel? I'm a Gentile. Give him a hand. God damn. So now, who is the real Jew? Who is the, who is the man of Israel? That's debatable. I know in y'all's belief, you guys you guys believe that you guys are. Y'all's? So I'm from Alabama. It sounds like they're teaching you down there. I'm from, I'm from Alabama, so that's good. I got you. So, uh, but okay. You from where? Hold on. Alabama. Alabama. Good right, so, night. Uh, and you want to go to heaven? Yes. <laughs> We're going based on Jesus, not anybody. Not, not any, not so you're not in your heaven right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're wait, saying, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me let me get this. Wait, heaven right now? You're not in your heaven right now. No, oh, this is a sinful world. Like you said, there's uh, yeah, there's racism everywhere. The way I teach, there's racism. There's okay, racism, but Alabama, brother. Oh, you like not Alabama? you, brother. But. <laughs> Okay, hey, are you condemning us for our people's past sins? Yeah. You're condemning us? Oh, I'm not condemning you. God is. Hold on, but hold on. Romans 8 does say, who is, if, if Christ Jesus is the one who does justifies, who is to condemn? Jesus is the only one that can justify what, what or condemn. What is condemnation? Condemnation is eternal punishment. Hell, it, Am I punishing I you? No. But Jesus isn't either. That's what I'm saying. I'm not punishing you. But neither All is I'm God. doing is saying, you benefited from what your forefathers did in Alabama. Right. Your whole life, your whole life was a gift off of the blood, sweat, tears, and bodies of slaves That's in right. Right. Alabama. Hey. Right. And you asking about heaven? Look around, you're in your heaven. That's right. You in your heaven. That's fine. You, you in Chocolate City teaching wait, wait, wait. black kids as a white man I'm from to help Alabama. Yeah, because I'm trying to help him. Would you let Osama bin Laden's children teach yours? Osama bin Laden's children? Teach your children. If they're trying to help him, I don't see how that but could be. But Osama bin Laden, what could he teach? Can those children be responsible for what their dad did? Yes. What? I have a question. Yes. I have a question. By, by your laws, yes. What was the Civil War about? You tell me. You tell me. Give me Isaiah 14, 21. It was a war to rid America of slavery, was it not? It was a war to rid America of slavery? Yes. No, it was not. Uh, it was a war. It was a war over possession of the slaves. Right. right. The North wanted the slaves. So is slavery not abolished? No, it's not. It's In America? No, it's not. 13th Amendment. Yeah. yeah. That's the proof. Yeah. That's the there proof. No right. All right, so here. The 13th Amendment says, you forfeit your right of freedom if you commit a crime. 
you can now you can now involuntarily be returned to the to the state of a slave. Right. That's what the Thirteenth Amendment said. The Thirteenth Amendment does not abolish slavery. You better go back and watch Mitch McConnell videos again because you ain't watch it right the first damn time. The Thirteenth Amendment legalizes slavery in America. That's right. And America mass incarcerates disproportionately more black Hispanic people than white people, despite the fact that white people commit more crimes than black and Hispanic people. That's right. There's no abolition of slavery in America. I, help him out, help him out. He ain't ready yet. Yeah, help him out. But he is honest. He is honest as to what, how y'all think. Go ahead. Okay, so I understand that, you know, what my people did 400 years, I have literally have no control of that. I can only, I can only control me right now, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm in the inner city of D.C. as a white person teaching black kids I, I, I'm glad you said that. Now let me get two scriptures. Okay. All right? Read where you're at. After, let me get it. After, wait, no, I get the full project. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare love, slaughter love for his children, uh -huh. for their for the iniquity of their fathers. That's what the Bible says. Read yes. it again. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. The Bible says, prepare judgment right. for his children, right. for the, the iniquity of, of their fathers. So my, Is there a time limit on that? Did they say 400 no. years? No. Did they say four or five? No, it's, there is no. Okay, There's no statute of limitations right. on the crimes of your forefathers. Okay, I understand so that. So God says you got to be pay, you and got I'm to gonna, pay. I'm going to be punished for that. For, exactly. Yes. Okay. Now here. Give him a hand. He's right. He is going to be punished for that. Listen, in the UPK, I know they're talking about reparations right now. We don't want we don't want white people's pay. We want them to pay. Right. That's our reparations. Right. right. All right, so I understand that, but okay, so then I that that's uh, you know Old Testament stuff like that, and then that's Old Testament I wanna, stuff like that. No, 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 I'm saying like I, I will like I do believe that God gives us things based on you know what my dad or whoever else did or whatever. But now here's what I'm gonna say: this Romans eight. Now this is this is God's word here. It says, "What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who is against us? You did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up freely for us all. Will not also graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who is raised? So it doesn't matter what anyone else in the whole world thinks. It matters what Jesus says so about who is, us. So who is God's elect? God's elect is who those who believe in Him." So those who believe in Jesus so, and repent of their sins. Give me Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. Give me Isaiah 14, okay, 1 that's and 2. Right, Let, let's, let's get God's elect yeah, in the, okay. from God's words. I know, I know. Let's get God's elect let's from go God's words. The Old though, so what, the Old Testament is done away with? No, every, every, every part of it is going to be fulfilled, but you have to take these verses into context. But you just said, who can bring a charge against God's You're elect? talking about Babylon. So now let's, let's see who's God's elect. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Isaiah. Chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose who? And will yet choose yeah. Israel. And will yet choose who? Yeah. Choose Israel. That's God's elect. It's God's to God's elect God's something is to choose. Right, right, right. God's elect is Israel. Right. The, the children of Israel are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. And you rightfully said, who can bring a charge against God's elect? That's right, and right. what your government have done, not you personally, right, right. Well, what your right. government have done is brought charges against God's elect. Right. How yeah. could your government say the Hispanics are illegal immigrants when this is their land? Right. Right. You are the illegal immigrants. That's right. How could you say Hispanics are bringing in all the drugs? Have you heard of um, Ronald Reagan, Nancy Reagan, Oliver North, Poindexter? Yeah, yeah. They are. They brought in more drugs into America than any drug dealer in the yeah. black community. That's right. So, so I, have I, you heard of, of um, what's yes. his name, Andrew Jackson and the Trail yes. of Tears and yes. murder and rape? Yes. So who rapes more than the white man? That's right. So how could your government call Mexicans rapists when your president is talking about squeezing kittens as, as every married woman he sees? Okay. So I, I you don't you don't care that. about that. You, no, no, you see, I you ain't that. That. I understand all that. Uh -huh. I'm just saying, based on God's word. We have to take the but whole story. So, so, uh -huh. Hey, but in Romans, he's talking to the Jews and to the Gentiles. I'm a Gentile, like I said. So based on that, I say, I understand. I'm such a sinner. My fathers, my forefathers. Well, let's, let's see who are the Gentiles. Sinners, but Let Jesus me get a Bible dictionary real quick. Jesus let's, has the one who has the final say. Let's see who are the Gentiles real quick. All right, let's let's see who are the Gentiles. To so the Jew first and no, then to the Greek. Wait, what is that? Is this 
the Bible? No, this, this is something you, you get in a school when you get taught how to teach God's word. This is called a Bible dictionary. All right, okay, all right. Oh, you was about to lose it. He was like, oh my God, what is the Negro's point? You don't got to say it, I'll say it for you. Because I, I know you better than you know yourself. I've seen your history for 400 years. And your, your little 20 years on earth, cannot negate 400 years of your foundation. Your foundation is your foundation. You see, that's, that's your foundation. Your foundation is you can you ain't you ain't care what nobody's saying. You want to hear what you want to hear when you want to hear it. Wait, no, hold on. You want to hear what you want to hear when you want to hear it. You're going to hear that when I say you can hear it. In fact, give me the scripture. Read. Give me Romans 9 and 13. Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, uh -huh. but Esau have I hated. God said he loves one and hates the other. Right. This is it's Old Testament. That's, 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 the the that's New Testament. The so who is Esau? The so who is Esau in the Bible? He's a, person the He's a sinner. You're right. You're right. He's a sinner. Yeah. He is a sinner. I'm a sinner. And who is Jacob in the Bible? Jacob's also a sinner, but he chose Jacob. He's a sinner. He loved Jacob. Jacob. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, yeah. Yep. That's who Jacob is. Yeah. So who is Esau the father? He's uh, the Gentiles and stuff like that. He's like uh, the, uh, the uh, Ishmaelites and stuff like that. Those are all, those are all Israel. Israel. Yeah. Esau is the father of the Caucasian race. That's right. Okay, I'm not going to bring race because I'm not a racist. You, you listen, not racist. listen. You can't bring race into this. Your forefathers brought race into this. Your forefathers brought race into this. America was built on racism. So don't think, don't say now, I don't want to bring race into it. You're in it. You're in the race right now. You're in it right now. Who is Esau is the forefather of the Caucasian race. And that's who you are. And God said, read it again. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God said he loves blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, right, right, right. and he hates the white man. Okay. Now give me, give me Helen. Okay, that's fine. Give me Helen real quick. Ash, you read right here. Come on. Give me, give it to me. Helen is Jews who were made Greek, it's not like it. Jews who made Greek their tongue. Say it again. Jews who made Greek their tongue. What is a Hellenist? Jews who made Greek their tongue. A Hellenist is a Jew who made Greek their tongue. So when he says to the Jew first, then to the Greek, the Greeks he's talking about there are the Jews who were born in Greece who made Greece their tongue. Just like we are not Americans. You are not an American. Just like that, you were just born here. Right. But you're not a real American. The Greeks who he's talking about is not talking about white Greco-Roman babies. He's talking about Israelites who were born in Greece. So, for, so to the Jew first, the Jews are those who lived in Jerusalem, in the Commonwealth. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. The Greeks he's talking about there are the Jews who were born in Greece. Right, right, right. That's okay. it. All right, here, here's the last thing and then we gotta go. All right, in the school I teach at, okay, one of the biggest problems I'm seeing is that men, so young student, men, young men, I believe, so he just graduated high school, I say he's about a young man. We are not taking responsibility for our actions, okay? So we say, I'm not where I want to be because of this, that, and the other. And you can come up with a million and one excuses. I've seen Woo! that, and I can come up with a million and one excuses and say, oh, I wasn't rich when I was born, or I wasn't tall enough, or I wasn't athletic enough. You can come up with all those things. The bottom line is we're all children of God, and God has given us different, unique We are not all children of God. Okay, only those, sorry, I'm sorry. Those are only those elect and saved are children of God. And I, we're not gonna, I don't want to debate about that right now. I'm just saying, God has yeah. given us all different, unique gifts and abilities. I think I, what I've been given, I can now say, I want to use this gift 55 and 20? To, to glorify God, okay? Mm -hmm. That's just what I've been given. And I'm going to try to go teach your race, mathematics and sciences and the Bible and all these other things because I love you people. Right? He just said, because, 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 because I love teach, you. Hold up, you said you're going to teach the black man? Do you know That's the black, what I'm doing right now. Do you know the black man made geometry? Tell him, brother. I, you did, stole it. Tell him. You stole it. Right. Everything oh, no. we I'm got. Just, hey, let, me, let, me, let me help you out. Oh, 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 oh
you even let me help you out, Austin. You even Austin, stole being the Jew. Your government and we the Jew. has taught black people enough. We the original Your Israelite. government has taught Hispan Hispanics and Native Indians enough. I am the original Jew. Let me how white people can help black people. The original Jew right here. Leave us the hell alone. Black man. Leave us alone. We are the Get out of our neighborhoods. Get out of our schools. Get out of our homes. Listen, this, let, me, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Now listen, listen, no, I got to love God. I got to love God. The two biggest commandments is love God with all your heart and love thy brother as thyself. But what is love? Love is obeying his commandments. And his commandment says that I should never marry into you and you should never marry into me. The Bible, so, so because, listen, love got, what's love got to do with it? What does love got to do with it? Listen, it ain't got, listen, it got nothing to do with love. Are we your brothers or no? To, no, you ain't my okay, brother. Okay, all right, that's all you I need to hear. You ain't my brother. So I love you, but you don't love me. So who's the You don't love me. Prove it. Prove I'm it. I'm in DC teaching every Prove. single day. That's not, that's not affecting me. Prove it, love what me. What do you want? Do you want money? Do you want, what do you want? Let's see what the Bible says to you. Okay, all right, have a good day. Let's see what the Bible says to you. I've already read the Bible. I've read the whole thing. Don't love nobody but your goddamn self. Austin, let me tell you who you are. Very respectfully, you are the devil, the Bible says. You're slick. You are the devil. Yes. And you know what devil means? Austin, you know what devil means? I'm going to call you Austin Powers. You know what devil means? You know what devil means, Austin? Devil means deceiver. You are a deceiver. You are a deceiver. You are in black DC schools deceiving black men to, to trust white people and trust white America. There is no getting along with white people. You are a race of criminals. You are a race of lawless people. You are, no, listen. We're teaching class all day long. There's brothers in here that's college professors. What the hell are you telling us about teaching? We're teaching our people and your people. Right. You are the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. There's no getting along with you. Why don't you go teach Donald Trump to give the Hispanics back their goddamn children? Right. Talking about you love black people. You teaching black people in high schools? Go teach that goddamn fat devil in the office to give Hispanics back their children. Go teach your government to give the native Indians back their goddamn land. That's right. Go tell, your, go tell your mother and your father that they descend from rapists and slave traders. You come here, you come here white behind up here from Alabama talking about, I want to teach you people. God damn you devils, man. You think everything is a goddamn joke. You done raped us and murdered us and, and lynched us. Put us in prison houses. Set us on fire. And you comfortable to stand up before my children. I'm going to go make sure none of my children in your goddamn school or class. I'm going to boycott every goddamn school you're in, you filthy animal. The white man created schools for the native Indians. Talking about kill the Indian, save the man. And beat native Indian children to death. To learn English. To learn math. And you have the nerve to tell me you're coming to help my children learn? You better teach your children the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. You better teach your young boys and girls the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of. You Hispanic, you tell your little e horse and he has, es blanco hombre, es el diablo. Read. Psalm chapter 55, verse 20. He have put, have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. That's the white man. The white man came to America and the native Indians helped you. They fed you. They showed you how to survive. And you put forth your hands against the people that were at peace with you. You white people are abominable. You're a race of criminals. You're greedy. You're thieves. You never ever accept what you have done to get America. But you want to charge everybody else with crimes when you are the biggest criminal on the earth. You're the biggest rapist on the earth. You're the biggest child molester on the earth. Read it again. 
Psalms chapter 55, verse 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Go ahead. He hath broken his covenant. He has what? He hath broken his covenant. What, what do you say? Read loud for Austin to hear. He hath broken his covenant. You white people, you came over here and you, you made treaties with the native Indians. All sorts of treaties, land treaties and promises, and your government broke every single one of them. Your government broke every single one of them. And now you mad because I call you the devil? You are the devil the Bible speaks of. You're a liar. You're a thief. You're a hypocrite. You're a race of rapists. How dare you come up here and charge black people and Hispanics knowing what your forefathers did. Knowing what your foremothers did. You white people are sick in your head. And there's no justice on the earth for you. That's why God got to come back and bathe the streets of America in the blood of the white man. All I wanted was to be a gangster. I ain't lying, I was close to dying. Knew I wanted to live, but I wasn't trying. I was defiant, not knowing that this ain't how we live. This just how they design. Cause when you win them streets, you get more indignant. They don't tell you gonna be on papers and no restrictions. My father said a hard head to make a soft ass. I didn't care, I wanted fear when I walked past. In a place where a black man's blood is cheap. I thank the Lord for the day I was on Lake Street. Pissing in the cup, back and forth to court. Found the DC school. I swear it felt like I crawled on that fucking porch. The Lord said, My sheep, they ain't hear my voice. Ask me why I'm UPK. I told them I ain't have a choice. They said, God ain't 50 50. And what's gonna come to pass? The Lord called me out the world, and I started running fast. All I wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know, I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time.